Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name's Alfie and I'm a fourth year med student and I like to make videos about how I'm hopefully going to one day become a doctor. Typically, I like to make videos about my day in life as a medical student, going into hospitals, playing basketball, just being outside with friends. But obviously in this climate, these things aren't going to happen. So today is the 29th of March and it, it is exact- so, I keep saying March. Today is the 29th of May and it, it is exactly two months until my med school finals. I've had my fun at home during quarantine, but now this is the time that I really need to turn it up and focus and put together everything that I've learned to the test. So today, I wanted to film a 12 hour workday and show you guys how I break down my day hour by hour. I don't know if you guys still have exams or not, but hopefully some of you guys might find this useful in terms of structuring your own days. By no means am I saying this is the way that you should work and that this is the only way to be productive, but I just wanna try and test my discipline and motivate myself for the rest of the time that I have. I know that two months sounds like a lot of time, but for someone who stresses out as much as I do, two months, four months, it doesn't matter. I'll still be myself if I feel like I don't know something, which I think is really important. Unlike most courses, my teaching hasn't finished yet, and I'm actually a third of the way through my third term. So today is the last day of my endocrinology rotation, which is all about hormones and what happens in the body when there's too much or too little. And on Monday, I'm gonna be starting hematology, which is all about the blood and what can go wrong there. But before I jump into studying, I just have to quickly throw out the trash because I've left that out for too long now and it's starting to smell. This is for you, trash can. So my exam at the end of July is a 120 single best answer paper, which is essentially 120 multiple choice questions. So I know what you guys might be thinking. You do med, but you guys do multiple choice? Well, actually these questions are a lot harder than you think. So UCL has a sort of two-step approach to all the questions that we have to do. And what that means is that they'll give us a case and then we have to work out maybe what the condition is. And then the question will be, what's the best next investigation? Or what's the best next management? Which means that you can't just know, you know random facts. You do have to know the entirety of a condition. And with all these different specialties, you know, from cardiology, which is personally my favorite, to respiratory medicine, acute medicine, gastroenterology, you get the gist of it. There's a lot of different specialties, which means that there's a lot of different conditions. And that means there's also a lot of different investigations and managements for these conditions as well. To start with my morning, I want to do some practice SVA questions on this app, which my university actually sent to me called Capsule. And it was made by some doctors over at Brighton and Sussex Medical School. I really like the user interface and I think it's a really nice switch up from the question banks, which I typically do online. So I just want to work through a couple of these for the first hour of my day. So, so as I mentioned, so as I mentioned earlier today, today is the last day for my endocrinology rotation, and for the next two hours, I just want to go over the slides that they have on the university website just to see if I've missed out any important information, and try and add that information to my ever-growing stack of Anki flashcards. So today I actually only have an hour of scheduled online teaching and uh, some days that might be four, some days that might be one. Today's teaching is a Q&A session on all the endocrine conditions which we've learned so we can ask any questions about stuff that we're not sure of. So that Q&A session is about to start so I better join on now. All right, so I just finished that session and now it's time for lunch and now I can finally relax. Um, during my lunch and dinner, I like to watch stuff on Netflix. Right now, I want to watch the last two episodes of The Last Dance. Um, and it was cool because I watched some of the earlier episodes with my friends on Netflix party. But now they've gone off and watched the last two on their own. And they've kind of snaked me. But I want to catch up and I want to see the rest of this. I think I've always been a fan of MJ. But watching this whole documentary really puts into perspective um, his whole career. And, it, and you've got to respect his work ethic, his competitiveness, and his desire to win. And honestly, watching it does motivate me to 
want to work harder and things like that. Also, just watching the documentary makes me want to go outside and play ball. And it's tough because the weather outside right now in London is honestly so good. But we'll just have to wait till things get better. Oh god. So for today's lunch, we're having kimbap. Um, which I made yesterday and it's just an easy way to meal prep and have a quick lunch and um, I don't know if I want to cut up one or two Because um, I'm a fat <laughs> I don't know why it's falling apart yeah, That's okay. Nope, it's not working Stop it. Get some help. Alright, so master chef time. I don't know why. I tried to cut it up and it fell apart, so I might just eat this like a burrito. Don't hold him back. Let him go. He and I have Sort of a unique relationship. Before I jump back into work, I also want to call my mom and my sister who are back home in Hong Kong. Speaking with my family helps me, you know, it's it's nice to speak to your family just to catch up and also it just kind of motivates me to want to keep working. Hello? Hello. How are you? Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm Hi. good. Hi, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So to kick off my afternoon session, I want to just go over some of the endocrine Anki flashcards which I have for that long-term retention. In terms of the pacing of my work, I'm still using the Pomodoro technique religiously and I'm trying to do that by having 25 minutes of work and 5 minutes of break and then cycling through that. And to help me with that, I recently downloaded something called Horo, which is basically just a timer for your laptop. I'm surprised that Apple doesn't have a timer on the Mac OS or maybe I'm just that dumb and I haven't found it. But I just downloaded that, it's free, you know, at least I don't have to have my phone on my desk to keep track of time and that means that I have one less thing to distract me when I'm trying to work. Why is this not straight? And after going through those flashcards, I want to just go through some SBA questions now. And I've been using um, PassMed, which I'm pretty sure every clinical medical student has been using. And I've also been using QuizMed, which I think is a little bit harder. So I just finished some of the flashcards and some uh, quick questions on past med and now I'm about to jump onto a teaching by some seniors. There have been a lot of uh, new teaching groups that have come out during this pandemic and it's really useful for all the clinical medical students because now that we can't go in, there's definitely an inconsistency with teaching. Some people might get more, some people might get less. Um, teaching might be sparse on certain days. I think definitely for my year anyways, we're in debt to the older years for kind of giving us this extra teaching during this whole period. A bunch of the seniors have now created this series of lectures called uh, the SPICE series. So today's session will be on respiratory medicine, which I did way back in first year. And it'll be a good reminder for me to see what I know and what I don't know um, from you know all that content back then. Yesterday we actually had a session on cardiology and that was taught by one of my medic parents, um, which was really good. Uh, I'm not sure if he's teaching today's session, but let's see. But I was surprised by how extremely positive it all was as well. <laughs> Cyanose, and it's able to speak in full sentences. So it's not, as we'll go into later, it's not a, it's not a very severe episode. What we'll was the best initial investigation? Pheno, chest X-ray. guys all right guys so we just finished that teaching that lasted a little bit over an hour and a half and I think any sort of teaching that lasts that long kind of just kills your brain a bit so I'm now just gonna make some dinner and then I'm gonna chill and watch some Netflix and then uh, try and do a little bit more work in the evening on the topic of Netflix though, another show which I started watching is Riverdale. Don't judge me. 
I used to be a big fan of like Sweet Life and Dak and Sweet Life and Zach and Cody. We're going to be together forever and ever. Of course we are, my beloved. So it's kind of weird to see Close Frost all grown up and in this sort of like darker role. But I've enjoyed it so far and you know, I just want to see how this story kind of goes. Space Force Spirit. That looks really good. Archie, no questions asked. Okay. Okay, so I just finished dinner and it's about 7 in the evening now. Um, I'm honestly feeling a little bit more tired than I was before, so I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea to give myself that energy boost back to sit down for a little bit longer. I wanna go through some of my respiratory flashcards and my respiratory questions to kind of consolidate the stuff which I just had from that teaching. Alright, so it's 9 o'clock now and I just finished those questions on QuezMed for respiratory medicine. Now that we're going into the final hour of the 12 hour study day, the last thing which I want to do is actually tune into a pre-recorded teaching by my seniors again, um, where they did some rapid fire cases. And the reason that I put this at the end of the day is because by now my brain's pretty floored and um, I can kind of just kick back, relax, watch this video and see what I can pick up from this to wrap up the day. So case one. Mr. Wally has just re returned from visiting his family in Kenya. He's got a swollen left leg. What kind of, what are you thinking of here? All right, so now that I'm done with work, um, to relax in my downtime, I like to edit videos or just watch random YouTube videos or watch some anime. I think the last anime that I watched was Fire Force. <laughs> But that was like two months ago and I haven't really seen anything recently. So if you guys have any suggestions for anything that I should check out, leave it down in the comments below. I was thinking about maybe starting sales at work. <laughs> which I know is uh, kind of med related. So I thought that that might be kind of fitting for like exam season. So that was my attempt at a 12 hour workday. For exam season, I definitely do and try to build up to the 10 to 12 hour mark. I know that 12 hours sounds like a lot, but there are definitely medics out there who work for even longer and get up even earlier. So by no means is this the full extent of it. For me, I personally suck at waking up really early. So I know that this is the best method that works for me. And that's the most important thing, which is finding out what works best for you. But anyways, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you guys have any suggestions for videos that you guys would like to see during this exam season, then let me know as well. Until then, I'll catch you guys later.